Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jawaharalvi Juhi and I am the clinical director for BASIS. Um, I am doing this video today for, jo for, for the PRT pocketbook guide and the only thing I wanted to talk about today from this book was about joint attention. So what I've seen is that as practitioners, as parents, as caretakers, um, actually as practitioners, we do talk a lot about joint attention, but then when I go and I ask everybody that, hey guys, what does joint attention mean? Nobody knows about it. So I just thought that it would be really interesting if I could talk to you guys a little bit about joint attention today. So joint attention is basically sharing interest in an event or object by pointing or gazing back and forth between the item and another individual. So this is something that is called as joint attention. So let's talk about it a little bit. Um, and we're going to talk about, um, you know, what does it mean? So first we start with self-initiation. What really matters in successful treatment is the long run and studies show that initiation, sorry, in the long run, um, and studies show that initiation may be critical to very positive long-term outcomes. This is why lots of researchers have focused on the pivotal area of social initiations. If you take a look at typically developing children, you can get an idea of how many different initiations there are and how often they use them. In fact, typically developing children begin to initiate interactions very earlier in life. Before they are even one year old, they will look at an item that interests them, then at another person, then back at the item, which is joint attention. This is called joint attention. Children both initiate and respond to these types of interactions. If you point out something to them, they'll usually respond by looking back and forth between the interesting items and you. Unfortunately, children with autism spectrum disorder don't do this or rarely do it. Joint attention is very important, even pivotal in many ways. First, it is social. It is how children interact before they have words and joint attention is a precursor to first words. Joint attention involves making eye contact, sharing pleasure, communicating and socializing. All these areas are more difficult for children with autism spectrum disorder. Not only do children with autism lack the ability to engage in joint attention, but they also seem to develop very limited ways of using language. That is, they almost never use language that initiates social interaction. As a whole, the bodies of research discussed in this section suggest the lack of initiation may be a pivotal problem that results in seriously atypical development. For example, Weatherbury and Pritping showed that children with autism use communication almost exclusively for either protests, such as saying, no, go away, or bye-bye, which are increasingly effective ways of limiting or terminating social interactions or requesting for reinforcers which can become fairly sophisticated. However, these types of language interactions provide minimal, if any, support, um, you know, support to the kids. So for the most part in teaching interaction, a child with autism is responding to an initiation from an adult, right? So basically, this is called as joint attention, and we are supposed to work on joint attention with the kids. So basically, me looking at an item, and then, you know, looking at somebody else, and then looking back at the item, you know, this is a part of joint attention, me looking at somebody, and then looking at an item, and then looking back at you is joint attention. So kids with autism, they lack joint attention and these social interactions. Therefore, it is extremely important for us to develop those social interactions. And there are many different videos that I have done on teaching social interactions. There are a lot of games that we can play, like rolling the ball, you know, playing hot potato, playing charades. You know, these are the kinds of games that you can play with the kids to increase that joint attention in the children. And we have to start to increase the joint attention of children with autism spectrum disorder so that they are able to initiate those social interactions. Eid is a really good time for us to 
model these behaviors for our children and I think that we should so all the social gatherings that we have they are very good opportunities that we should have our children initiate and we can model for them and then make them imitate those behaviors and initiate those social interactions I wish you all best of luck and I hope that you all are staying well and safe have a wonderful day